morning guys yes despite it being pitch black it's morning it is saturday the 12th of october and i'm on my way to get michelle because it's our weigh-in day it is a freezing cold it is wet it is dark it is miserable so i'm off to get michelle in the dark oh, oh dear um, I haven't got much on today, which is a good thing. I'm just going to be pottering around in the house and doing jobs as you do. And I'll come back to you guys when you can see me better because at the moment it is so dark, it's insanely early. So I shall catch up with you soon. We're here. Let's get weighed. So it's a bit lighter now. You can actually see me or see us. Michelle's with me now. Morning. We've just come out of weighing. Um, so you have to watch that video for the results. Um, however, Michelle's, Michelle's a bit deflated after this week. But if you want to know why, go and check out the video. Yeah. But she's not letting it um, get her. No. And she's going home to meal planning. Are you meal planning, or do you know planned. for the week? Yeah. What's on the menu? Can you remember? Um, tonight is Chinese takeaway. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to do zero count stuff beforehand. So I'm going to do my potato and egg wash thing. When breakfast. you go in or yeah, for lunch? Now, for breakfast. Nice. Because how do you do that then? then? Um, grate your potatoes and. Do you have to yeah, squeeze them in a cloth. Yeah, squeeze them in a cloth. Get rid of all the all the wetness. wetness. Yeah. Fry your bacon off in fry light yeah. or whatever fry yeah. spray you use. Mm -hmm. um, in a frying pan that you can put in the oven. Yeah. Um, then um, pop your um, potato and onion mix in. Yeah. With a little bit of pepper and salt as well. Yeah. Um, leave that in, in the pan for about five minutes, but make little wells in it. Yeah. Um, to put your eggs in. Mm -hmm. Um. So cook that on the hob for about five minutes just so it starts going crispy underneath. Yeah. Bang it in the oven for 20 minutes on 180. Oh, so the top crisps as well. So the top, but yeah, so it cooks all the potato through. Are the eggs in it at this point? No. Oh. Um, take it out after 20 minutes, put your eggs in, mm. back in for six minutes. Yeah. And then I might do it for about five minutes this time and mm. the eggs will be a little bit softer. Yeah. Um, and then serve. That sounds nice. I might do three eggs in it today because I'm quite hungry. Do you know what I haven't had for a while? I bought um, a waffle machine that you could make filled waffles. Oh, yeah, your stuffed waffles. Stuffed waffles, yeah. that's it. I haven't done one of them for a while. I got American pancake mix in the cupboard. Oh, yum. Mm. Like a Nutella waffle I could smash out. Oh, yeah. Nutella and strawberries. Yes. That would be nice. I eat all the snacks now. thing is, it's nine o'clock now. I'm going to drop you back, nip to Tesco to get a couple of bits to go with our dinner tonight. Yeah. Um, Sort my mother out. She wasn't very well. Oh, I checked on my mum last night, mm -hmm. as I do. I'll show you the picture. But, oh, look at this picture. That was my mum last night. Um, I know she'd gone up to bed because the front room was all closed up and that. And I was on my way back from Bingo, so I thought I'd just have a look. And she was watching Deli in bed with yeah. the little dog. Um, my sister sent her that dog over and, and to be fair, my mother absolutely loves it. That's really good. I my mum likes keeps my her dog. Com it keeps her company here, but my, my mum's dogs pretend. Yeah. My mum's got like a bit Your of, dog's got heartbeat. Yeah. <clears throat> my dog, my mum is say, even talking about, so my mum's gone from, she's a pain in the arse, she just gets in the way, oh, she's annoying. Mm. So, oh, actually, she's quite cute. To, oh, where's my little friend? We need to get her some treats and some snacks when we go out. Aww. Have you fed my little friend today? To, oh, do you want to go out the back with the little friend? Um, and it's it's complete. And she's now gone to, like, she's going to smuggle her in an Ikea bag when she moves back to Folkestone. I said, you're not taking my dog with you. Aww. She can have mine if she wants. Yeah. <laughs> I got Katty's nails. Oh, Bell's, Bell's in with yeah. the groomers next week. Well, my dog don't like it. And last... Um, last year the vet trimmed his nails and Warren came out looking like he'd been in a blood bath. Oh, no. All his arms were scrambled. I'm going to get a muzzle and then I'm either going to hang him up in a shopping bag with his legs <laughs> yeah. hanging out. 
But Warren said we haven't got anywhere strong enough to hold the bag up. So get, get one of the kids to hold it. I'll have to get um Kendy to hold it. A um oh what you call it? Yeah, muzzle and then just give them a quick trim. Yeah. I did buy this scratching thing. And you put treats in and then they try and scratch it to open it. So yeah. I might try that first. That don't work, he's having a muzzle. Yeah, Bell's in the groomers a week on Sat a week today. Mm. Um, and then two weeks now I'm having my eyebrows done. Nice. And the week after my eyebrows is when she's going in to have her boosters. If your eyebrows um look good, I might book in. Yeah. Not not before Christmas. No, nah, she she's like six months lead time for equipment. Oh is she? Yeah, she's that good. Yeah, she's amazing. So yes, yeah, so I'm booked in two weeks today. Nice. All paid for already, which is exciting. Mm. We could have gone to do our earrings. I could do, couldn't we? A bit early now, and they? they don't open until 10, do they? Do they? Okay. Otherwise, we could, because perhaps go next weekend, shall we? I'll say that I've got to be in Cardiff for 11 with the loon dog. I'll take one with us and we'll go over to um, Costco as well. Nice. Because I've, I've run out of my cheese. Cheese. Yeah. It's a good buy that cheese. It is. It's like a kilo bag of mozzarella. Yeah. Like portion it up into little small Arla, bags. Arla, isn't it? Like hmm? Called Arla. Yeah, Arla. Mozzarella. Are they, are they the new one? Are they new then? Yeah. Oh, the ones you got. Michelle's mum brought me um, some what's it, bless her. The they bacon new ones. Crispy bacon. But they're chickpea ones. I purposely ones. left them in the car because the kids will get them. And then I got... Um, in bingo last night, our friend got me the rare prime drink for the kids. Um, so Jack, I'd left it in the car. So Jackson came out to the car to get the prime. And he come back in with them crisps. And I went, you better get back in that car with them crisps now. You know what my mirror. Oh, can't we have them? I said, no, I'm a shelf man, Bobby, they're mine. Yes. But they're only, they're chickpea. But they're chickpea ones, Chickpea and corn instead. Um, but they taste just like normal Watsons. In fact, I prefer the flavour on these to normal What's the Watsons. calories on them? 57 calories per bag. Dude, that's good. Yeah, but they feel, but there's a lot of, there is a lot of crisps in the bag with 57 calories. Oh. So you feel like you've had proper crisp when you've had them. But I love them. Sure, I might, if they're in Tesco now, I might get another bag. Yeah, they're on offer. Oh, I'll get yeah, back Yeah, cup card price 165. But I'll keep them in the car. See, they, they'll last me ages, one, one of them, because I, I just have your bag. Well, I was having a bag of crisps every day, and last week I had two bags of crisps a week. That's what's more annoying as well. Yeah. There's a lot of things pissed me off about last week. Mm. Um, but I did pick up in Tesco's yesterday the crisps of champions what's that? for Christmas. Um, but I realised when I got home, they go out of date before Christmas. Uh. But they are, you know the combo mix from Marks and Sparks, which are my favourite crisps on the yes. planet? They do a pigs and blanket combo mix. Combo mix in oh. Tesco's. I'm in there yesterday. It's a Christmas in the Christmas aisle. Nice. I participated in the Christmas aisle, um, and it was pinky lovely. So I've got them in the house, mm. and I could quite happily face plant them the way I'm feeling right now, but I'm not going to. Don't do it. No, I'm going to have. Um, Don't do it because you're only going to punish yourself. I'm going to have my bacon and egg, bacon, bacon, egg, and hash browns. I might even bang some beans on as well to go with it. If you feel like being off the rails, message me or ring me. Yes, I will. And I'll talk you out of it. I'm going to be fine, mate, honestly. The only thing I'm going to have that's a little bit naughty apart from my Chinese is my apple you bought me. My chocolate apple. Oh, you've got a chocolate apple? Yeah. Definitely take the cost, the calories of the apple off. So if I do, what is it, Tesco's chocolate She's got apple. A, a Halloween chocolate apple with marshmallows on top. So the calories on that is going to include the apple, isn't it? So I said to her, count the calories for it, but minus off the, the calories of a like medium apple because an apple is zero count. They don't yeah. do anything to that apple. They just coat it in the chocolate, chocolate in that. Yeah. But I'm gonna have. I might. I'm gonna have that this afternoon while I'm watching Hocus Pocus. I, I, got, I got her a spooky cake as well, and I've got a spooky cake. Yes. So I might have a slice of that. It's like a tray bake. I'm going to have a look at the calories. Well, I'm probably not going to have it today because I'm having Chinese tonight. So I'm going to stick to well, my I'm going to 
try and not use many um, calories on what I call rubbish because um, I'm going to see if I can pick up another watermelon because I've got half a piece of feta cheese and every single time I open a block of cheese and I don't eat the whole thing, um, I always throw the other half away and it's like a waste. So if I buy another watermelon, I might have watermelon, mint and feta for my lunch. I want to try that. It's honestly, it's just orgasmic. It's foodgasm. Foodgasm. It's so tasteful and refreshing. Yeah. I love it. So I might have that for my lunch. And then for dinner, I've got some chicken Chinese. I've got three packs of chicken Chinese stir fry mixy, whatever it is from Tesco. Um, where it comes with the peppers, the onions, and the chicken that's already marinated. So I've got to check the ingredients because I think there's oil in it. Yeah. So I will have to ca count calories for that. Um, I'm going to do some noodles, and I think I might coat the noodles in sesame oil. But Put literally, them in stock. yeah. Put them in stock. And then, but yeah. literally, I will use like a teaspoon or yeah. a te or a, even a tablespoon of. Um, Sesame oil. There's something about the sesame light. oil that gives them a, a nice taste. Yeah. So, and it'll be between six people. So, I'm gonna need calories for that. I was just checking on my phone. I'm gonna get pancake rolls. Oh, you gonna get prawn crackers? And prawn crackers. So I'm gonna do it for like a fake way Chinese. I've got special fried rice to use up. Um, but I'm just gonna give that to the boys and that. That's yeah. like a ready-made one. I won't have any of that. Even though a spoonful of it would be hardly anything, yeah. I, I might end up having a spoonful, but see how you feel, innit? Yeah, and then a piece of spooky cake after. Yeah. So majority of my calories will be used up on my dinner. Yeah. I'm gonna go zero count for breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna have beans with it. I've decided. I'm gonna do my hash brown hash brown bake thing with beans and mm -hmm. um, chuck some bacon in it. So I do it with bacon in it as well. Um, and then that'll keep me going all day then. And then I might have my chocolate apple this afternoon. Nice. And then I'm trying to hide stuff. it. Would Gary nick it if he saw it? Yes. So. Oh, you better hide I'm it or threaten it. I'm going to eat it this afternoon. Easy work anyway. Oh. Um, so I'm have that this afternoon and then Chinese tonight, which will probably be like a shared portion of something. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what yet. So that's from. Royal Oak tonight. Nice. Royal Oak, Royal Oak's really nice. It's quite expensive. Is that the one by Spa? No, Royal Oak's the one up in Kilvenness. Oh, can we get recycled bags? Yes, we'll pop past it on the way. Which way? Spa. So if you go along the main road, along the bottom pass, I'll hold on. Uh, so come off the roundabout, mm -hmm. go round and back on yourself, and back mm -hmm. into Hawthorne, past the Hawthorne pub. Keep going, and then we'll jump oh, right up. Oh, going up past yeah. Hawthorne. And then go up to Spa for that. And then I'll run in and get some recycling bags. Oh, thanks. That's alright. I'll pick up extra for my for my friend. Okay. So then you'll have four packs there rather than two. Oh, <laughs> oh, do they do the food ones as well? Yeah, they do. Oh, I'll have some of them as well, please. Yes. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow I'm out for the wrestling in the evening. But I'm not yeah. sure. If we're, I don't think we're having food before we go out. So what I might do is cook some for me and mum beforehand. Not quite sure. What I'm, not, I'm not planning on them. Um, I might do like a garlic pasta, garlic chicken pasta. That intense um, got that Philadelphia, in melt that. I've got the intense. Do you know what that is? That's nice, right? Fry mushrooms and put like a tablespoon of that in and melt it down in the frying pan and coat the mushrooms in it and have it on toast. It's quite low. Well, I've got the in. Do you know the Dolmio Intense? Yeah. I've got that Dolmio Intense pasta sauce. The jars. The jar. I've got one of them. So what I might do is get one of the, um, use that mm. with, um, cook off um, chicken, bacon, mushrooms and onions. Nice. Stir fry that, mm -hmm. then chuck the garlic sauce in and then serve it with pasta. Mix it Sounds pasta. nice. Yeah, so I might do that for lunch tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, before I, like late lunch before I go out. I don't know whether to do a pork dinner tomorrow or not bother. I've got a, I've got a, a big pot of Tesco finest beef dripping gravy Oof. in the fridge. And it's like oh, that's a fun treat. 
I like um, Tesco finest beef drip and great uh, beef drip in Yorkshire's. Oh, Yorkshire's, yeah. Nice. Keep that side. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you'll be going back to my house. So we, won't be, yeah. we won't be getting over your side. I just go in autopilot. Yeah. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Monday is um, barbecue, tray bake, um, had a chicken. Yeah. Oh, maybe I won't do chicken tomorrow because I'm doing chicken. I'm doing chicken tomorrow. I don't know. I've saved quite a few um, recipes on social media. I need to have a look to see yes. what I've saved. So I'm doing Hunter's chicken loaded fries on Monday. Mm. Tuesday is spad bowl. Mm. Wednesday is jacket potatoes because Mum loves jacket potatoes. Yeah. So I'm gonna have jacket potatoes. My Mum's not fussed on spuds. Oh, she loves them. She'd eat jacket potatoes every day, I think, if she if she had the choice. Mm. Um. But she, we just have mum just has them with jack potatoes, corned beef and cheese, and I do jack potatoes with ham and, and do you mash it all in. No, just beef. put it on the side and then mum mashes it all in. Then like right. mash it at the top. The young, I had I had Philadelphia and ham with mine this week, which was lush. I got the pepper ham. So I do sometimes with the jack potato instead of putting butter and that in it. You know, laughing cow lights. Mm -hmm. You put one or two of them in there and then put beans on top. Actually quite nice. Yeah. I and what I've done in the past is you know like loaded potato skins where you scoop it out and then oh, yeah. mix it up with cheese and bacon and onion mm. and then pop it back in the oven. And I've done that. They're before. nice doing it with like a cottage pie mix and Ooh. mince and you scoop it out. But you don't necessarily mix the potato back in. You just scoop them out and then put the mince stuff in and you put like the potato back on the top and some cheese. Or you could do cottage pie in a Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. I've seen that as well on social media as well. I've seen TikTok. people making sweet stuff with Yorkshires. Yeah. Yeah, there's cameras all the way along here now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've got on the menu this week. I just can't meal plan, I don't like it. I love it. I get up in the morning and I think, right, what should I make? I'm gonna go to, um, to Al um, Asda tomorrow. Because mm. I need some fruit anyway, but I'm going to pick up one of their soup mixes, I think. Because they do a leek, leek and potato soup mix. In... I got a um, Covent Garden leek and potato in the, in the fridge. Um, somebody sent me a picture or tagged me, I can't remember, and I can't remember who it was, sorry. Um, Aldi have got, you know, like um, Mallow and Marsh bags of yes. marshmallows. They've got them in Aldi. Not Mallow and Marsh, Aldi's, no, version, Aldi's version, dairy, whatever they do, yeah. dairy fine. Um, so I was thinking, oh, i look for them. I did have a bag of them marshmallows, and I remember putting them underneath the breakfast bar on top of a, a unit, and I'm sure they're not there now, so someone's, um, some someone's sneaked them. Yeah. Flower and whites will be here Monday. They'll be here Monday, toffee apple toffee and birthday apple cake. Toffee apple and birthday cake. And a cheeky secret extra golden caramel one because we had to get an extra bar to get it over to the get twenty it over to get it over the threshold. If you hadn't price. bought that extra bar, we would have been paying an extra twenty odd quid, would we? Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? No, it's nuts. But yeah, so yeah, you had to spend fifty quid and you get it half price, which is really good. Yeah, so we spent just over fifty quid on meringues. <laughs> but it's only twelve pounds fifty each, really. Yeah. So when it's that and they'll last Don't me like a good then. couple of months now. Until the next flavour comes out, we're both like, oh, we're going to try that. Next flavour. We, we were disappointed with the pistachio. Yeah. The golden caramel is my favourite so mm. far. Um, lemon is my favourite. The lemon's nice as well. Um, but I'm really excited to try toffee apple. That's like the one that I'm... Yeah, toffee apple is... To. Um, a birthday cake we've got because you fancied the birthday cake. I think I've had a birthday cake one. I've because they've cake. got me some... But yeah, they're they're like my little sweet fix. I I don't eat a lot of sweet stuff, but mm. they're they're the thing that that hits the spot when I need. I still got like probably half a box left of the stuff that we yeah, have. Yeah, I've still got a load left. Yeah, but it keeps going till Christmas now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> until Christmas. another flavour comes out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proper hungry now. Mm. I'm not too bad. Mm. Right. I didn't have any carbs last night, though, did I? I only had salad. Mm, oh, Jameels. Oh, we haven't been there we for ages either. We need to do a Jameels. Maybe we'll do it before Christmas. Mm. Do like a Christmas treat. What do you 
much if any of the girls will be going out in group. We have quite a lot of friends there, haven't we? Oh, yeah, there's a lush group. And they're all so we're, lovely we're, fri there. we're friendly though, aren't we? Yeah, we, I love that one. Uh, we, we were literally chatting to, we'll chat to anybody. But yeah, some nice girls go there. Yeah, all ladies. I love our morning group. And it is a killer getting up so early on the Saturday when you've worked all week. But yeah. now it's like 20 past nine and we've still got the whole day. Yeah. I'm going to play on my Switch all day. After I've done my housework, I can't do that. I've got washing on. I got the kids to blink in, get all their stuff washed, and it looks be fun. There's a big um, Halloween update come out on Dreamlight Valley, so oh, I'm going to get involved on that today. No, it's park. I'll park, it? pull up here outside Chan's, and then I'll run in. I don't need a paper. I'll get it in Tesco. Are you thank sure? you. Yeah, just the recycle right, to be fair. I'm back now. Thank you very much. I'll just stay here. Oh, poor Michelle. She was so gutted. I felt bad. I felt bad for losing weight, which sounds stupid, but because we're really good friends, it was like, oh, and she'd been really good, you know? She'd been really, really good all week. She was under her calories. So, yeah. I just hope that she doesn't have a wobble today now because... I'm going to have to try. Because she's um, fed up, you know? Let's just have a look there. Oh, I never noticed that before. There's a bakery. Nice too. Turn these hazards off. I think I'm out of the way. Hang on. So, Tesco's for me. Then to my mother's. Then home. Crikey, she's got loads. <laughs> Do you know, I never know. It's that bakery before. Yeah. It's good as well. It is, is it? Yeah. I might have to come down one day. Oh, thanks for them. Do you want some? No. Why? Because I've got loads. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Um, yeah, Cole's Bakery is lush. It looks good. Their pasties in there are incredible. Oh, I could smash one of their pasties. No, I'm not going to. Could you count it? It'll be like my whole day's allowance and no Chinese tonight. I'm not risking oh. it. Don't risk it for a I'd rather have my Chinese tonight. That's yeah. what I've been looking Good for. Good plan. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to come back there. And, um, I'm sure Michelle does a slimmer's breakfast as well now, you know. There's a cafe there, is yeah. there? Have I been blind or what? I've never yeah. noticed these places. Although we don't, we probably don't come past it when everything's open. Ah. Uh, it's like if you think we come down that way if we're going to bingo. Yeah. And the only thing that's open at that time of day is like spa. Right here, isn't yeah, it? Right behind. Uh, where'd you go? What happens if you go straight on? Uh, where'd you end up? Up the top side. What's top side? You just want to go up there. Rough, is it? Yeah. What, like, rough as a bear's ass, rough? Yeah. Crime and crime and grime, is it? Yeah. Oh. It's not the best. So when people say they live in Ridge, up the top side, yeah. you know? Mm. You go, all right then. Hopefully there's nobody watching that lives there and be thinking, Oi, <laughs> don't say that. My niece used to live up there until she yeah. moved up north with her boyfriend. Shopping well, I used there. to live in the roughest, one of the roughest places in Brenna. Did you? Mm. I only bought a house in Brenna when I, first, when I was going to move up here. And um, we were looking for a bigger house, me and my ex. Yeah. And looked at Brenna. I can't believe how many times that house I had has sold since we left it. Really? I think it must have been about the eighth people. Oh my god. In 20, nearly 20 years. I should have a look and see how, like, where my old houses have gone. And do you know what? I paid a lot of money and had all brown, um, really nice brown with gold leads, leaded like 
patterned windows and a nice front door with the whole house done out. Um, when I worked in Leaks, yeah, um, really, really nice. And um, when you go, I've been up there a couple of times to show the kids that I say you used to live there, yeah, and they've painted them yeah. not black, Ooh. and it's like, oh, they've ruined them. Ooh, that's so they were like wood, um. Their house, these houses are nice, but yeah. Would you like to live there? Nice, main road. I'd like to live in Hawthorne if I was going to live on a main road. Up here, innit? No, next one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you walk bell up there. Do you? Yeah. It's a nice one on the end, that house. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to live in Hawthorne. I don't know where I want to live next. I just, I know I want a bungalow. Yeah. I tell you what, Caffili is the place if you want a bungalow. Yeah. We were looking at when Mum was looking for flat for flats and stuff. I, I was like, "Does she not fancy see... a bungalow?" Yeah, she was wanted a bungalow in Folkestone, but they're twice the price of what a flat is. Oh really? Yeah, it's crazy money down there, and there's not many places that have got bungalows. Ah, uh, someone said to me they're not building bungalows anymore. I don't know if no. that's a lie or whether they got. But... Thinking about it, a lot of the new like because obviously I work with new build sites in my day job. Yeah, and. A lot of the new build sites are going to the townhouses, so they're like the three stories. Yeah. It's a smaller footprint, but all the space still. I wouldn't like a townhouse. Nah, a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. And it's funny layouts as well. Not having your kitchen down in the basement or I the would, kitchen. I would, I would, like I would, if it was the right house, I would move to another house. Yeah. Um. But ultimately, I would love a bungalow. I like your house, though. Your house is lovely. As soon as you walk in the front door, you're just like, ah, oh, it's like a warm hug. Oh, thanks. It is, it's lush. Yeah, it's a stupid layout, though. You open the front door, and the toilet is behind the door, the downstairs toilet. Yeah. So if you're speaking to someone on the doorstep, and someone's in the toilet, then they'll open the door, and it'll smash into the front door. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Do you know, I haven't had my front door long. I want a new front door. Already? Yeah. It's, um, I've had them out so many times. There's a lot of money for that front door. And it's not right, it don't, it, there's a gap on it. So I've got to get a screwdriver and alter it so that it shuts tight, so it don't let the cold not in. Really. That's a bit dodgy. And I'd never have a door again that hasn't got a handle. It's a door that, um, Automatically it just shuts. shuts. Yeah. And you don't pull the handle down, it's just got a key. Yeah. Never again will I have one of them. I'll have a proper one. I got that because it looked more stylish. I thought, oh, that looks nice. And I was like, oh, we've got the best door in the street. Like, yeah. Mm. I like my but door. It's rubbish. Mine's one of the handle ones, like, rather than. Oh, yeah, you had your door. At the same long time. After mine, yeah. Not long after mine. Yeah. Our front door was one that was in there when I moved in and it just needed doing. I want to well, get a new patio doors. We had the original front door. And then when I was working in Leaks, they had a mismeasure of a front door. A really nice front door and it was say like this front door would have been a grand I had it for a charity donation of ten pounds shut up because it was gonna go in the bin yeah. it was a misfit and um, they couldn't send it back whatever so I had a brand new front door for 10 quid it cost me 50 quid to get someone to fit it but it was just slightly the wrong fit but the guy made it fit my door oh, that was lucky and that lasted us for years and then yeah. all of a sudden then it was getting a bit like worn and that and we were like right we'll get a new door so jessica had a new door with this company and it was really good nice door and so i i had them out and had a door with them yeah brighton's done my door and he um i know him through working down the club but he'd done ruth and jason's door and mine's um, is it a, called a composite door? Yeah. Is that what yours is called? Yeah. yeah, that's what mine is. Yeah. My mother's door, God help if anyone had to break in. Or if a, if whoever buys a house, I'm going to have to show them how to get in. It's a safety door. So you don't just put the key in and turn it and go in. Right. You've got to do a special combination of turns to oh, get in it. Well, I suppose it's safer for her not to get out, isn't it? Well, no, to get out, you just put the handle down. You can get in and out. You can get out by just opening the door. Oh. But if you're out going in, it's weird. You've got to like unlock it one way, then turn it back the other way, then give it a little jolt and pull the door towards you like, mm, and then it opens. Oh. But that's what she wanted when she had it at the time. Oh yeah. But it's like a safety thing. Fair enough. 
But right. yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast. Right, I'm gonna go to Tesco. You have a good week, my love. Yeah, I'll speak to you anyway. Don't be depressed. No, I'm fine. He's what it is. I've had my cry, got it out. And don't system. let um anyone bring you down today. No, nope. I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Yes, it's all gonna be fine. I just want breakfast now. I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm proper hungry now. I only had salad last night, didn't I? I just smiled at her and she looked at me like she wanted to stab me in the eye. I'm not sure who she is. She comes every week, she does. Oh, she's, a, she a she's a carer for Rob. Uh, Rob? No, Tony, I think. Tony? She has probably. Um, no, it's not a carer for Tony's. I haven't seen anyone in Tony's for a couple of days, actually. Maybe he's alright. Mm -hmm. Next door. Knock his door and say, You're right. I'm not that close to him. You'll say, come in, Michelle, and then two hours later, you'll be like, right, I've got to go, I'm, I need to cook tea. Yeah. No, he's lovely. Right, um, let us know. I'll keep you posted on my shenanigans today. What are you up to? When I eat my apple, I'll be like that. Oh, don't forget that. It's no, I'm going to drag it back now. Uh, and enjoy your little piece of cake if you have any. I don't think I those tray I don't think those tray bakes are that high in calories. Let's have a look. Have a look. Let's show the cake. Let's show the cake. Let me see the cake. Watch the apple I ripped the packaging on it, sorry. Right. You was gonna have a lick, weren't you? It's gonna lick it. We gave it to me. Lick all the chocolate off and say, oh, I've got you an apple. <laughs> Imagine that, bring an apple. Because <laughs> that's the kind of friend you are. Yeah. Friendly need is a friend indeed. That's like sucking all the chocolate off peanuts. That's my apple. Chocolate-coated apple. Oh, it's a Pars one, not a Tesco's one. That's my apple. Pars. Oh my God. That's amazing. Thanks, mate. Spooky. Picked us up a spooky cake. Gary and my mum will demolish spooky that. Spooky chocolate tray bake. Oh, here we are. I haven't got my glasses on. Um, a 15th. So that... <sighs> oh, so that cake... Is supposed to serve 15 people. I suppose if you. That's not bad actually. Cut that down the middle and imagine. Oh no, I was thinking five. That's going to be a small piece. Mm. It's not going to be a big bit. That's 115th, isn't it? It's yeah, 207. 207. Yeah. That's all right. I'll cut a piece and weigh it. I fancy one with him on it. Yeah. The little purple monster. Yeah. So yeah, spooky tray bake. My family will love that. Gary and my mum. But I will be eating my pa's milk chocolate cake. So just because we're on um, diet adventures, we can still eat things like that. Yeah. But right now, I need savoury. Wouldn't it be boring? Oh god, yeah. We wouldn't if... be able to stick it in like we have yet. No, we wouldn't. No. Life is for living. Take care. Yeah, we'll do. I'll, I'll see you later. next Saturday if yes. we don't get up to any shenanigans in the week. Yeah, if we don't end up with weekend shenanigans. I don't think I can I'm going out for a meal on Wednesday. Go. Where are you going? Pottery. I'm going to check oh, yeah, for your mum's birthday. Is she like a Maltese? Oh, she was proper chat. She was like, she's like, oh, you've got such lovely friends. I was like, I know. Yeah. And that's Cherie. Have you been friends with her long? I said, no, it's the first time I've, like, it's only the second or third time I've met her. Yeah, she's nicked another one of my mates. I mean, <laughs> And she ordered makeup off about it now, are you? No, and she ordered makeup off you last night, yeah, didn't she? She did, bless her. Oh, look. Oh, I didn't bring the clippers. Oh, don't worry. Michelle's got um, a little undercut. An undercut on one side, and she was going <laughs> out, and she did a bit of a Britney. She decided to do it herself and didn't realise the guard wasn't on. <laughs> and I nearly bought. She's butchered it. Your, your hairdresser's coming to do your mum's hair. Yeah, she's, she's coming on Wednesday. Up so she'll probably give she? us a little, a little shiz. Straighten it up. On Thursday. Oh, uh, Wednesday. Uh, so, yeah, right. I'm going to get in and get some tweaks. Right, starting. hold that cake upright in case all the toppings fall off it. Wow. Right. You later. Love you, millions. Yeah, I'll message bye. you in a bit. Yeah, speak to you in a bit. Bye. So, that's Michelle gone. I'm going to Tesco's. <laughs> Better not beep because it's only 9.35. People are probably having a lie in. What's one of them? I haven't had a lion for years. You can't have a lion when you well, someone's relying on you to be there and sort them out. Like my mother. I couldn't just lie around and think, oh, I'm going to stay in bed till 12. Because she needs me down there. She needs me. 
it's probably waiting for me now. Oh, I thought it was a dead animal in the road then. It's a blinking McDonald's bag. Right, I am off to Tesco's to get, what am I getting? I've got to try and remember. My memory's getting terrible. I want prawn crackers. So I can, I can just play this video back if um, I think, oh, what did I want? Prawn crackers. Ketchup. Spring rolls. Newspaper. A couple of bottles of coke because I'm in there. What else? Oh, watermelon. And when I park up, I'm going to have a quick look um, at some videos I've saved recipes for and um, get the ingredients if I need any for something to do for tomorrow I don't meal plan but while I'm in Tesco I'll do that right I'll catch up with you in a bit guys probably when I am back in the house oh, what's that hmm, just had a message to say Jackson's glasses are ready at the opticians so I will be going back um, I'll be going back to uh, take him to opticians, pick his glasses up, ready for school on Monday. Right, I'll see you. I'll probably catch up with you, to be honest, for lunch, because my shopping isn't going to be shopping haul worthy. And, yeah, I'll catch up with you for some watermelon, probably. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? But I don't want to waste that piece of cheese because I'm too wasteful at times. Right, see you. Hello, Shamai. I've been so busy. I've been editing and stuff. And I've had to stop because Mackenzie uh, needs picking up. And I totally forgot to get the prawn crackers when I was in Tesco's. So I just said to the kids, do you want prawn crackers or should I not bother doing the prawn crackers? And of course, no, I want prawn crackers. So I have to stop at the shop now. Um, I'll send Mackenzie in to do the footwork. I'll only stop at a local shop. Hopefully they'll sell prawn crackers. Ooh. I've left it a bit late um, coming out to get Mackenzie, but you know. <clears throat> been messaging Michelle, she's alright. We've been organising a night out with um, some other girls. My friend Cherie has now adopted Michelle <laughs> and they get on well, which is nice. They like each other. And Cherie and my lovely friend Janice. Um, who I both met at Slimming World. Um, they seem to be going to bingo at the moment, like maybe when we go, so we can all sit together. That's great. Oh, what kid on a bike was going to pull out something then? So, yeah, it's nice when everybody gets along and. You can all be friends together, you know? I always say I don't have, I have, this is weird, I have absolutely loads of friends, right? But they're, some of them are like people you say, oh yeah, they're, they're friends. But they're not really friends, you just know them. And then I've got like, say, say 10 people that I really call my friends. And I know they would do anything for me if I needed it, you know? And I always say, it's not the quantity, it's the, you know, the quality of friends that you've got. So, hmm. But I'm feeling really good about myself today after getting weighed. 
obviously I, I have a background um, guilt because I feel sorry for Michelle because she's um, so fed up with her result. But I just, I'm like, I'm really pleased with myself that I've been in control. I've said no to things. I've said no to myself when I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, oh, should I just eat this or should I just eat that? And it's like, no, don't do it. Like, you want a result on the scales more than you want that thing. And it's paid off, you know? But I do have to say, I haven't done anything different than I do on a week that I would lose a pound. So it's, it's just your body. And I think over the month, you probably get one really good one and then you just get like pound, half pound, maintain, whatever. But yeah, I'm really thirsty again. And there's no mints or anything in this car. No drinks. I've hardly drunk all day. I've still got that half a bottle of that Coke from earlier. My mother's good today, bless her. She was up when I got there. Um, she did say to me, mine, she said, where have you been? I said, I had lots of errands to do. But she doesn't forget I go slimming and that's why I'm late. Cause she said to me, oh, how did you do? So I told her how I did and she was like, oh, well done. She's my biggest supporter, my mother. And Warren is. Warren it's always like, oh, how'd you do? Even Dexter, Jackson don't say a word, but Dexter's like, you know. Oh, when I got home, I said to Jackson, come on, we gotta go up the opticians. And I got the old, no, please don't make me go out. So Warren was like, get your bunny shoes on and get out that door with your mother. But I was busy in that, so I was like, right, Monday after school then he went yeah Monday after school so I said right so oh. it's always busy around here always busy right I'm gonna go now and get my son get some prawn crackers and then I'll probably start tea quite early tonight. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, quite early. So then I've got the night to do other things other than think, oh, I've got cooked tea. You get in the other lane. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll see you guys. Um, I will see you for a Chinese fake away and let you know all the calories and things. It shouldn't be too much. I can't remember what the calories were on the chicken um, stir fry thingies I've got. But I'll let you know. I've got sneak in here now. Right. I'll see you for dinner. Guys, this is my dinner. I didn't bother putting sesame oil on the noodles. Don't didn't think they needed it. Spring rolls. I have used three of these Chinese style chicken stir fry kits, and then I've got some co-op prawn crackers. I'll put a breakdown on screen of everything. But that is my dinner. So, guys, I got way laid tonight doing stuff and I didn't have anything else to eat so I got 160 calories to spare today um my dinner or my tea whatever you want to call it, it was really nice it's actually just about to strike midnight Dexter's still up but I do let them stay up on the weekends go to bed where they want me oh <gasps> Within reason. And if he doesn't hurry up and go to bed, I'll be kicking his ass up the stairs. I'm sitting here with the uh, blanket on. It's freaking freezing. Kitchen window's open and I can't reach it because I'm too short to shut it. 
Boy's in bed. Um, I think I'll have to get Dexter to stand on a chair. Um, mm. I'm tall enough. You can't. You can open it, but you can't shut it. Go on, then. I'm taller than you. Hello. Anyone? Anyone's taller than me. Mate, I think you've grown shorter. I have. I'll be two foot six soon. You won't be able to see me. No, I, I've got an idea. I, I've got a theory. Oh, I don't want to know about your ideas at the more, midnight. The, light, the, the shorter you get, the lighter you get. Mm, that's good. Right. Tomorrow is Sunday. What shall I say? Today is Sunday because it's one minute past midnight. I am planning on going up to bed. <gasps> um, I've already decided what we're having for dinner tonight tomorrow you know sunday um something i saved on instagram don't know what its name is what the dish is called but it's basically put rice in the bottom of a dish with like stock and stuff greek yogurt pesto uh what else chicken breasts spinach very healthy and in the fridge i've got two packs of these fancy mozzarella balls that are covered in green pesto um i think they're a hundred and something calories for half the pack and i've got two and it will be between six of us so i'm prepared to use that many calories so i'm going to chop them up and put them on top as well um i think i might put them in last off and then like grill grill it at the end or something. I'll see. But that is going to be our very nutritious dinner. And I've managed to pick up some of those rolls. I mentioned the other day that I'd got these rolls. And they are, they oh, they made the most delicious garlic bread. They're panini rolls, but they're from a, I can't even remember the name. But I'm not getting up out of this chair to go and get them. Because I can't be asked. Oh, pass me them paninis um, in the kitchen on my little trolley. The second shelf down. He's just gone in the kitchen. They, oh, they, there's something about them. Just one packet. One packet. Um, they're these. They're freaking amazing. So... Crosta and Molica, is it? Crosta and Molica. Uh, thank you very much. Salsa. That's mine. You said I'd go over for letting the dog out. <laughs> you liar. Get me mine out of that lunch bag. I took to bingo up there. There's one in there. Um, honestly, they are friggin' amazing. They're from Tesco. Um, <sighs> thank you. Training well soon. Hang on, I want you to put these back after I've seen the calories. Mum, what are these? Hand wipes. You've only got dirty hands. Um, they're focaccia paninis. Ready sliced. Made in Italy. Um... They are 276 per 100 grams, and then 90, 90 grams for one. I will definitely be saving some calories for one of them. They all but look, I don't know if it's the packaging, but they all but look a bit greasy, so I don't know if they've got oil on them. Babes, can you put them back, please, so they're all together? Thank you very much, sweetheart. Up. Right, so yeah, we we'll sort it for dinner. Breakfast, whether I have it or not, I don't know. Lunch, I'm thinking of. I've got quite a few mushrooms. If I've got cream cheese in the fridge, which I think I possibly have, I think I might do a jacket potato for lunch with like cheesy mushrooms or garlicky mushrooms or something. 
and breakfast will either be I don't know either it'll either be nothing or maybe a crumpet or something I'm gonna need to work out my dinner and my garlic bread and that's so when I know what I've got left to play with for the rest of the day and I didn't end up having any chocolate cake tonight because I remember thinking oh I've only got 160 calories left it's not going to be worth having it and then I got distracted doing other things so it's still sitting over there I can see it now but it's not bothering me I've got chocolate muffins spooky cake there's an apple pie there's loads but my mindset it's not they're not bothering me so i've currently got julie butter on the uh, on the phone i was going to say then i haven't got her on the phone i've um got her on the telly on pause so i'm going to finish watching her drink this pepsi and by the time you watch this video you possibly would have seen our let's cook collaboration me and julie did um it was just a bit of fun something to do um, something for you guys to watch. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We are thinking of doing another video, um, a diff slightly different one, but we'll see. And yeah, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.